Hey, it's Gabe with the API Nation. Today I wanna to talk to you about seven things you didn't know you could do with Google Drive. Google Drive is an awesome application from Google. It allows you to store files, images, videos in an online cloud storage area where you can access it from anywhere. You can access it on your phone. You can access it from a friend's computer. It's really easy to access those files, share and collaborate using that cloud storage. And that offers a lot of ways to be productive. And here's seven more tips to help you take it to the next level. So let's start simple. The first tip, folder color. This is great for keeping you organized or just making sure things look aesthetically pleasing. So here we go. Here is my Google Drive and I got five folders here, some for Chris, some for Tanya, and then just a financials folder. Now, if I just hop in here and I wanna at a glance know what's going on, Maybe I've decided Chris's folders are a certain color. So I'm gonna right click on his folder, go to change color, and Chris is gonna be red. So I'm gonna do that with all Chris's. Great, and then Tanya can be yellow. And then if I do this across my entire drive, it's always easy to see which folder belongs to who. Financials obviously are gonna be green, and there we go. Now, if I hop in this folder, I can at a glance see whose folder belongs to who. It's just a great way to keep things a little bit more organized. So that's one, the ability to change folder colors. All right, so step two is filtered search. It's the ability to hop into Google Drive and use the filters in the search to quickly find the exact file or folder you're looking for. So here we are in my Google Drive. I got some documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos. And maybe I wanna search in this folder. So I would just click this filter icon here. And then the location, I'm just gonna change it to this folder. Select it, there we go. And then I can choose in trash, start, encrypted. Do I wanna see only files that I own? Do I wanna see them of a particular type? In this case, I do. I wanna see all my images from this folder. So I'm gonna click that. And you can do images, PDFs, documents, spreadsheets, presentations, videos, audio. Let's do that images and search. So this is gonna pull all the images I have from that location, bring them up so that I can easily find the image that I need. You don't even have to necessarily click the search options icon. For example, I often will just hop in and enter type presentation. It's gonna bring up all the presentations I have it even auto suggests the ones I've opened recently. I can hit enter, and then it's gonna surface all the presentations from my Google Drive. Again, making it easy to find the file or folder I'm looking for. Tip number three is Microsoft Office files. So Google Drive does a lot of things great. One of the great things it does is handle Microsoft Office files seamlessly. So here you can see I actually have an Excel file here, and it just displays it almost like it's a Google Sheet. Right next to it is a Google Sheet. And I can leave it as an Excel file and still manipulate it here. Hop in here, do my work, and then save it as an Excel file, especially if it's important for the team that I'm working with that it stays an Excel file. So that's great. And then maybe the Google Sheets I create also need to be Excel files. So I have this expense report, I need to send it to somebody, they can only open it if it's in Excel. I can just go up here to File, Download, Microsoft Excel, save it to my desktop, and then email that file to my collaborator. And this works with Excel files, doc files, even PowerPoints. It really takes away the pain from using Google and Microsoft at the same time. So tip four is sync docs. And this is where API Nation comes in because at API Nation, you can connect Google Drive to a bunch of different apps and set up automatic syncs so that all the documents you add to those apps also get added to your Google Drive. So to do this, you just go to apination.com. I'm gonna scroll on down until I see Google Drive, there it is. Click on that. And you can see these are the apps I can automate alongside Google Drive to make sure all those docs automatically get synced into my Google Drive. For example, I can do it with Loop. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I can just walk you through what it looks like. I'm gonna connect dot loop. So I'll click the big button. Go ahead and sign into dot loop and approve this connection. And then I'm gonna do a similar thing with Google Drive. Connect Google Drive. 
and select the account I want to send it to. Do it one last time with Google Sheets because we're also going to create a bunch of summary Google Sheets that have a bunch of my data and contacts and participants for my transactions. So there we go, we're on the final step. You can see I'm syncing all my existing transactions from all my profiles into this folder called .loop the API Nation. So I'm gonna start it up. There we go. You can now see every document I upload to my transaction manager is gonna go into Google Drive and my participants, my transaction information, and my contacts are all gonna end up in spreadsheets in my Google Drive. It all happens automatically so that every doc I add to my transaction management app also gets added into Google Drive. So tip five is scan PDFs. And this is actually using the Google Drive app on your phone. If you open it up, you can actually add PDFs just by taking a picture of a document. It'll automatically turn it into a PDF and upload it to your Google Drive. This is what that looks like. So you're just gonna open up the Google Drive app, click the plus button, and then select scan. Find the document you want. In this case, it's a page from one of my favorite books. I'll just take a picture of it. There we go. Now, if I want, I can go ahead and crop it so that it looks just right as I upload it to Google Drive. I'm just gonna drag the lines there until I got it exactly where I want. That looks good. Go ahead and save that. And there we go. It's automatically uploaded to my Google Drive. This is great for any documents you have, transaction documents, receipts. You can just take a picture, automatically get them shot right into your Google Drive. Tip six is share copy links. So we all know you can share docs in Google Drive pretty easily, but did you know you can change the URL just a little bit so if they click the link, instead of going straight to your doc, it'll create a copy of that doc in their Google Drive. Let me show you what that looks like. So in this example, my friend Robert has asked for the expense report template we were looking at earlier. So I'm gonna email it to him. I'm gonna open up that Google Sheet. There it is. So I have this expense report template and I wanna send it to him. I can just highlight the whole URL, send it to him, ask him to make a copy. That way he doesn't mess up the version I have and fill that out. Or I can simply change this from edit to copy, highlight the whole thing again, copy, and then paste that in here. Now, when he clicks on this link and he gets his email, instead of just looking at my document, it's actually gonna create a copy of that document in his Google Drive. This protects my template and it saves him a bunch of clicks. The seventh and final tip is probably the most impressive. It's the ability to search within the PDFs and the images for specific words and even pictures. So you can just hop into Google Drive. Here we go. So if I'm looking for a specific document, but I don't remember the name of the document, but I can remember a snippet of text even from the document, I can just search for that. And because of the technology inside Google Drive, it's automatically scanned and cataloged all my documents it's even recognized some images, so I can just describe those also and it'll pull those as well. Let's try this. So for example, I need a document I had, I think it had something to do with Yukon education. So, oh, there we go. I didn't even spell education right, it just guessed it, and then it pulled up that PDF. That's title obviously has nothing to do with Yukon or education, but the word is in the document, so it's able to find it. So you can do it with words in your documents. You can also do it, like I said, with images. So let's say I need a picture of something like a clock. I can click on that, search. It's gonna bring me up pictures of clocks. Here's a picture we used a while back, a little graphic with a clock in the background. Google recognizes the clock and goes ahead and suggests it when you search for clock in Google Drive. It's super helpful, super powerful. It makes finding files, images, and videos way easier. You don't have to remember the file name. You just have to describe it for Google and Google will go ahead and find it for you. So that's it. Those are the seven things you didn't know you could do with Google Drive. You can change the color of the folder so that everything is easier to find, everything is more aesthetically pleasing and you are more organized. You can use the filtered search to find all the presentations, all the spreadsheets, 
all the audio files or video files. It's a great option to quickly find the file or files that you need. You can import Microsoft Office files and then even export Google files out to Microsoft Office. You can sync docs using API Nation so that all the transaction docs you set up in .loop, BrokerMint, DocuSign, or BrokerSumo automatically get put in your Google Drive. You don't have to copy, paste, import, or export. It just happens automatically. You can scan PDFs using the Google Drive app on your phone. You can share those links so that they automatically create a copy in your collaborator's Google Drive. And you can search PDFs using just a snippet of text that you remember from the PDF or even describing the image you're looking for. Now you're all set and ready to be the most productive person in your office with Google Drive. If you found this helpful, let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to the API Nation YouTube channel. We release videos really often that show you how to save time, be more productive and grow your business. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.